For the past two and a half years, well, the GPU market has been quite bad. And when I say bad, I say low stock with outrageous pricing. But finally, after two and a half years, we can say that we finally have, yes, I said finally two times, we finally, three times now, have non-retarded prices. And no, it's not an offense for this or that, it's just an expression. We're gonna use mainly the new egg for US, United States, and I'm gonna use uh, PC components for Portugal and Spain, just to have a little comparison in between. Now, for example, let's start with the 6600 XT, okay? Now we have a 6600 XT on new egg, as low as, okay, $400, 399, and we have above, yes, we have one as low as 388, so $388 for the 6600 XT, okay? And according to Tech Power Up, yes, I have the values here, according to, tep, to Tech Power Up, the launch price was $379. And finally, after all this time, we have it really close by $10, we have it really close to the MSRP price or to the launch price. So 388 and 389 here uh, with a um, release price of 379. In the next months, we may actually see prices below the MSRP. As for the 6650 XT, it was released just a few days ago, uh, a few weeks, I guess, yes, a few weeks. Um, and we have a release price of 399. 399, and we actually have the card right here at 399 with the Gigabyte Eagle Radeon RX 60, 6650 XT, eight gigabytes. So this is the first, the first time happening in like two and a half years. So it's pretty exciting. Like I told you in the next months, we will have indeed lower prices, I suppose, since the stock is kind of building up uh, and people are not buying as much because people already have GPUs. So the prices will keep coming down. Okay, then we have, for example, the 6700 XT, that for me is the start of the show, okay? Is the start of the show. So $500, $100 more than the 6600 XT or the 6650 XT while being considerably faster. So at 499, we have the 6700 XT. And it was, it actually had a release price of $479, so once again, really close to the MSRP or to the launch price, so very, very close. The 6750 XT also released um, some weeks ago and it had an MSRP or a launch price of $549, which is considerably higher. And this is one of the cards that I do not agree with the higher MSRP. The 6750 XT is not that faster, that much faster um, than the 6700 XT and the release price is considerably higher. So from 479 to 549, okay? So it's a bit higher and I, I, don't, I don't like it, but still we have it here at the exact MSRP or launch price of 549. We have it even cheaper, so $10 cheaper than the MSRP at $539. So yeah, the XFX and let me see. Yes, the other prices are higher, but we have here, yes, we have it here, 539, $10 below the MSRP, which is great. This according to Tech Power Up, of course. Now we have the 6800 XT. The 6800 XT is really interesting because the release price um, was $649, $649, and this is actually one of the cards um, on which the release price, the launch price, is still way far, okay? We have it here though on the, um, on the Radeon normal version, okay, so on the, um, how should I say it? On the AMD version of the card, okay? Uh, we have it actually at $679, which is, uh, which is $30, $30, just $30 over the MSRP. Although the aftermarket cooling solutions are way, way higher than this, we have one at the MSRP price, the 6800 XT from Sapphire. Basically, it's more or less the same as the normal version, but I suppose that we don't actually have the LEDs like we have on the, on the normal Radeon version. Now, we saw that the, the 6600 XT can actually be um, attained by 388, 
But what about the, the RTX 3060? The RTX 3060 had a release price of $329. So it had $50 less on the launch price than the 6600 XT. And yet, look at these prices. So as while the 6600 XT has as low as $388, the 3060, the 3060 that had a, a release price $50 lower doesn't come even close to that. So $459 and $409. Yes, basically $409. 409 is the, the cheapest we can get on Newegg. The other ones are way more expensive, yes. Now as for the 3060 Ti. As for the 3060 Ti, we have a release price of 399, okay? 399, let's see if we get anything close to 399. Well, not on Newegg at least. So the minimum value for the, the 3060 Ti on Newegg is $569. So take in consideration that the 6700 XT is quite faster than the 3060 Ti. And we have the 6700 XT at $499 and we have the 3060 Ti at $569. So we have a difference of $70, around $70 for a slower car. Take apart ray tracing and the 6700 XT is better in everything. You know, it also has more VRAM, it is faster in rasterization, it is faster in everything and consumes less power while costing $70 less on average. And if, if we go to the 70, to the 6750, which is even faster than the 6700 XT, we can get one for 539, which is still $30 less expensive than the 3060 Ti. But well, the 3060 Ti is just way above the release price, which is not that great, taking in consideration the, the differences in between release price and current pricing on the other cards. As for the 3070, well, the 3070 had a release price of 499. Basically, a uh, release price $20 over the 6700 XT. And while we have the 6700 XT at $500, we have the, the 3060, Yes, let me, yes, the 3060 at 659, okay, this is the TI version, 629, and yeah, I, I think that the, the cheapest one is 629, let me just confirm, yes, the cheapest version is the Asus K KO edition with $629, okay? So with only $20 above the 6700 XT release price, we actually have it way above the, the 6700 XT in terms of actual pricing. So $629 while the 6700 XT is at $499. So a difference of $130, which is a lot which is a lot. So in most scenarios, the 6700 XT will be equal or faster. In other scenarios, the 3070 will be faster, like ray tracing in ray tracing scenarios. The 3070 is way faster, but overall, it also, it, it also is way more expensive. So $130 over the 6700 XT, which is a lot, while also consuming more power. As for the 3070 Ti, well, the 3070 Ti has a release price of $599, so $600, and we actually can get one for $699, okay? Let's see if this is the, the lowest pricing, yes. The lowest pricing here on Newegg is $699 for the 3070 Ti, which is not that bad, not as bad as some other cards, but still pretty bad, $100 over the MSRP. While we have the 6750 XT, which compares more or less with the 3070 Ti and has more VRAM for 539, okay? 539 versus the 699. Once again, a pretty big difference. We're talking about $160, so $160 is a lot. Let me see if my maths aren't broken. 
Now, as for the 3080, well, the 3080 actually had a release price of 699, which is more or less $50 over the 6800 XT. So $50 over the 6800 XT, yes, I repeated for you to hear properly. Now, as for the 6800 XT, we have it at $800. Yes, $800, okay, once again, we have the we have it at 650 649 okay we can get one at this price actually and let's see the 3080 if we can get something remotely close to msrp okay that's that's quite a lot yes 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 oh my god so basically the minimum value on new egg for the 3080 10 gigabytes is $899, so $900 is the minimum uh, that you need to get a 3080 on Newegg, while, for example, the 6800 XT can be obtained for just $649. In terms of performance, they are really, really close. In some scenarios, the 6800 XT actually manages to win. In others, the 3080 wins. When we talk about ray tracing, the 3080 is far superior. But when we're talking about the VRAM capacity, the 6800 XT has six gigabytes more than the 3080. So that's a lot from 10 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. Um, it's a big difference. And we have 650, 649, while the minimum here is 900 so it's a $250 difference from the 6800 XT to the 3080. With this value, with the difference in, in value, you can actually get a very good NVMe, uh, NVMe. You can get a CPU. With the difference of this value, you can get a CPU or you can get a better CPU than you're actually getting. So it's way better to get the 6800 XT and, for example, the Ryzen 5 the Ryzen 7, sorry, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, then getting, for example, a 3080 and just the, the 5600X. So that is the difference, uh, and that difference can get you a way better CPU and, or can actually buy you uh, a whole CPU if you're not aiming for the top tier. So that's a huge difference. And well, here I am in the end of the video, actually re-editing to then um, re-render the video because I didn't even saw the prices of the, the RX 6950 XT and the RTX 3090 on Newegg and the price difference is so insane that it actually made me um, <laughs> re-render the video so re-editing, re-rendering because while the RX 6950 XT can actually be bought for $1,099 the RTX 3090 stays at around $1,600. In, in most scenarios, um, $1,700. While the 6950 XT can actually be bought by $1,099. So over $600 difference in these two cards. Insane. Damn, let's go to the conclusion again. Now, just to end this big video, uh, let's go a bit to PC component which is a store for Spain and Portugal. And let's see if the, the pricing is actually close to this in Europe or not. So let's go, for example, for the RX 6600 XT. So it's considerably higher, but still we get one for 400 euros. Yes, 400 euros, 409 euros, 409 euros. 400 euros is a doable price, okay? We have more taxes here, so it's normal that the prices are a bit inflated, but well, 400 euros, not that bad, not that bad. Let's see, for example, the RTX 3060. And no, I didn't I didn't see the prices before doing this video. I'm just seeing them right now. I just saw a new egg, not on PC components. So as for the 3060, well, it is not that much expensive considering the 6600 XT and considering the new egg prices. So let's see the 3060 here. Yes, with 471 as the minimum value. With twenty with twenty dollars off, so four fifty, yes, and we have almost the same here. We have this version sucks, but we have here. Okay, we have here the gaming edition for four forty nine, four forty nine. So fifty dollars above the sixty six hundred XT, which is not that bad actually. 
let's see for example the 6650XD to see if the prices match or not. The minimum pricing we have on the 6650XD on PC components is uh, 30 euros over the, um, the 6600 XT, which is not that much. And this card is actually slight, slightly faster than the 6600 XT and still less expensive than the 3060. So once again, no reason to buy the 3060 over this, unless you want more VRAM, of course, if you want more VRAM since the 3060 has 12 gigabytes, and if you want better retracing performance. Anything over that, just get the 6650 XT. Let's see if we have actually the same prices on the 3070 as we have on the 6800 XT here. <coughs> Sorry. So 3070 at 649 euros. Let's see the 6800 XT. Whoa, the 6800 XT is way more expensive here. We have the 6700 XT, which is considerably less expensive than the 3070. But the 38, the 6800 XT is way more expensive. Way more expensive. So in this case, in Portugal and Spain, it is not worth to get the 6800 XT over the 3070 because it is also way more expensive. 869, let's see the 3080. Interesting. So in UAG, in USA, you are better getting everything AMD, while uh, in Europe it seems like, like AMD has still the advantage in terms of pricing for the lower end cards, but on the top tier cards the difference is more or less the same. Interesting. So if you're on USA, AMD cards all the way. If you're in Europe, well, pick your poison because any one of these top tier cards will be pretty damn expensive. But if prices are actually decreasing a lot in USA, the prices will keep decreasing as well in Europe. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope that uh, the prices keep decreasing month after month because we actually need this as PC gamers for more com competitivity, uh, for, for more um, for me to be able to buy more GPUs to actually test, mostly the NVIDIA ones, uh, because those are the ones that I don't have um, because they don't send me any and I have to buy them and the prices are currently crazy and I'm not rich and blah 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 blah. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you are still watching this part after this long ass video, leave your comment in the comment section saying that you're watching this part because I really want to know who actually watches uh, across all the video or at least the, a big part, a big chunk of the video. That's really interesting to see, at least for me. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Hopefully, with even, and I repeat, even lower prices. Nice.